hello friends in this video we will see how to use base 64 encoding in android application this encoding we use for to transform data from one location to another location in encoded format mainly sometimes we want to save images images is save as base 64 encoding and the task from to, from server to the android application where android application so that image from the 64 string you can also pass this data to other network in a string format for this in this video we will here type in text format you can pass this data to encoded format to other application or other network here we only saw encoded and decoded text by click on encoded and decoded button Well, this is the our string now click on this is the base 64 encoded string now in decode we will convert this string to the decoded form now we click on decode this is come after decoding so you can transform data from base 64 format from one network to another network for this we use one edit text then we call edit text button then we have two button encoded and decoded for this now we have text involved button text encoded decoded now for text encoding we get the edit text to stick to encode string first we can have to convert this string to the get bytes and this is the flag value is the back 64 default pass the default value and then we call the back 64 stating function encoded string this will return the encoded string from edit text so this value is encoded in this format now after this we decode this string to decode this history we convert that encode value can encode get string to string in decode method of base 64 this is the static wave method and base 64 default this will in default this is the return the by type array now we using new string we convert this byte type array to the string and we print the set text. So this way this will come. Now suppose we have very long value. I encode this string. This is the encoder string. Now decode. This is the decoder string. So in this way we can pass the encoded and decoded distance from network to another network and save images to database and then pass database to the other web app or other location from server to android app and android app to the server by base64 string thanks